Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Justin Melson with Happy Fox Productions, and today we're gonna to be looking at how to do advanced cloning inside of Adobe After Effects. And this isn't gonna be a typical tutorial where you see how to do the, you know, the split screen effect, because there are dozens of those on YouTube already. So I just kind of wanted to do a tutorial on how to do more advanced cloning, where you do camera movement and you move the camera and the character is cloned. So if you guys wanna see what we're doing, let's check out this example. Now turn around and walk towards me slowly. You are under arrest. Beach. No! It can't be me! Don't act surprised to see me. You knew I was gonna be out here. Vladimir, I thought I got rid of you for good! Okay, so what you just saw is a quick clip from my one of my old short films called Endless Crime. And it's basically about a guy who is arresting himself. So he realizes that the person that he's about to arrest is actually himself. What we're going to be looking at is how to do this shot. So he reveals who he is. And then the camera pans. We have the lens flare to reveal that that's him. And what we did is we stitched him in there and we did a 3D camera track and then we reveal that it's actually him. And if you guys would like to request a tutorial on how we did this effect, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. This one is a bit trickier how we have him kind of walk all the way around him and we did not use a green screen for this or anything. So if you guys wanna see how we did this shot, leave a comment down below. But anyway, so let's go ahead and look at how we're gonna achieve this. So what we have here are two shots. And the way we took care of this is we filmed it two different ways. So we have the shot of um, him not being there. So let's go ahead and get this loaded. And we did a few takes of this and my computer's kind of lagging. Sorry about that, guys. So I think I'm directing him a little bit. Actually, let's change the resolution to half. So. Okay, so what we have here is the clean plate. So this is the shot with him not in there. This is where the actor is going to be standing. So what we did was we filmed him not there, if that makes sense. So we just filmed where he would be. And essentially what I did is I just filmed that shot for about 10 seconds. And then I carried on with the camera move and panned towards this actor. So, and I made sure to add camera shake just to sell the effect. So we could just pretend like he's talking. And then the camera does the move. And he says his line. And so what we're going to go ahead and do is set our out point. And make sure we have enough room, set our end point. And we're going to go on ahead and bring that into a new composition. Perfect. And in case if you guys noticed, we shot this on the Blackmagic Cinema camera and we do have that black dot. Normally inside of DaVinci Resolve, I would have fixed that, but Maybe, maybe at the end of the tutorial, we'll fix that. We'll see, we'll see if we have time. And so what we're gonna go ahead and do is bring in the second shot where, not this one, we want this one. So what we did again is we filmed him standing right where he's supposed to be, but this time he's locked off on a tripod. So what this enables us to do is get a clean shot or a clean plate of just him standing there with no camera movement. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out or we're gonna mask around him and then we're gonna stitch that back over where he should be in the original shot. So we're just gonna wait for him to say his line, set our endpoint. He says his line, he stands there and set our out point. And then we're gonna bring that into this composition. And we're just gonna name this um, shot with actor dude. And we'll name this the main shot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is figure out, am I gonna do this with a 3D camera track or if I'm gonna do this and bring, if I'm gonna import this footage into Mocha and do a, a track through Mocha. And to be honest, I did not run through this tutorial <laughs> before I started recording. So I'm actually gonna, we'll, we'll, we'll see. And I haven't, I haven't worked on this film in over a year. So I don't remember what I did in the past. So let's see, we'll figure this out. I'm kind of running through this for the first time. So if I make any mistakes, you guys are gonna witness it. Um. Hmm, let's see, 3D camera track or Mocha? Let us do, let's do Mocha. Let's try to track this inside of Mocha. So we'll hit animation, go to track in Mocha AE. We'll let that load up. 
make sure everything is set. Perfect. So, so I'm just going to go on ahead and draw this right here. And I kind of want to make sure I get where there's uh, I just want to create this where there's the most texture because that'll result in a better track, obviously. So when we were filming this, we made sure that he standed right about here because that's where our reference point is on where I wanted him to stand. So I'm just going to go on ahead and track forward. Yeah, see, normally I would cut this out of the tutorial, like I always say, but oh, you guys can just sit here and watch this track. You guys eat anything cool lately? I'll tell you what I ate the other day. I had Cinnamon Toast Crunch. In fact, I actually had that a couple hours ago. And then I had chicken nuggets before that. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'm just passing the time. You guys are awesome. Hope you guys are having a good day. All right, so now this track, we got to start going frame by frame. So I just stopped it. And I'm going to hit track to next frame, next frame, because I know now that we're introducing more motion blur and I filmed this at a 180 degree shutter angle, we just got to make sure it's tracked perfectly. And then once it gets towards the edge, we can track that manually in After Effects. So let's just make sure we get this right. Okay, cool. So that's all we need to do. So we're going to go on and hit File. Export tracking data. We want to export it as a, we don't want to do corner pin. So After Effects transform, da transform data and copy it to clipboard. Perfect. And we're going to go back into After Effects and make sure you drag it all the way to the beginning because you don't want to start your keyframes midway through your composition. Hit Layer New Null Object. And this is where we're going to put our tracking data. So I'm just going to paste our tracking data onto the null. Perfect. And so now our null object is perfectly tracked right where it should be. All right, perfect. So that's just what we needed. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to get this shot with the actor standing there and I'm going to lower the opacity just so we can match him up. So let's see. So now this is just a simple going by eye. I'm just going to look at the geography around him plus where he should be. I'm just going to try to match him up as good as I can. And it doesn't have to be perfect because nobody's going to really notice. But you want to get close because we're filmmakers. We want to pay attention to detail, guys. Uh, boy, yeah, that's kind of different. Let's see. <laughs> it's it's kind of spiraling right here. Okay, so let me see what's going on. Oh, uh, yeah, we might have a perspective shift going on. So let me see. Do I need to scale him up a little bit? You know what I will do? I might just make the mask now. And I'm just going to be careful on where I make the mask because I might be able to hide any mistakes that we have. So I'll just create that. Perfect. Let's see. Lower the opacity. And match this up. And I'm actually going to move the anchor point towards his feet. And let's hit rotate. I need to rotate them just a little bit. And if you guys are wondering how I'm working down here, I'm just using my keyboard shortcut. So you just hit T for opacity and P for position. And if you want to uh, have them all at the same time, you just hit shift. So you can hit shift P or shift S for scale, etc. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick with this to our null object, which has our tracking information on there. And we'll see how this looks. So it's actually not that bad. You can't really notice any anything really going on. It looks like he's actually there. But we do have a sharp edge. So I'm just going to go ahead and start feathering this. Let me see if I could bring this up. Maybe people won't even notice that there's a shadow moving. Yeah, it's actually kind of noticeable. So move this down. But if you notice, we're actually starting to blend some of his head in there a little bit. So we'll just, just re really fine tune this. Bring it up around his head. Then bring it down. Oops. Bring it down here. Bring it down here. Just got to be careful of his head. Uh, 
Okay, from far away, this doesn't look that bad. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is add motion blur. So I'm gonna go into my composition settings, make sure we're at a, at a 180 degree shutter angle. Hit okay, because we are. Add motion blur to the whole composition, and then we're gonna add it to this shot. And so let's see what we have so far. Okay, perfect. So it's actually not that bad. <laughs> you can't really tell that there's any noticeable feathering or anything going on. So obviously if we take him away, we can see that it looked, oops. If we take him away, we can see that it looked much different, but nobody's gonna notice. Actually, we do have a little bit of repetition going on here. So I might try to Okay, that looks better. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just add some finishing touches. So once he gets towards the edge of the frame, right about here, I'm just gonna manually start animating him out. So hit P for position, click the stopwatch to add a keyframe, hit page down to go to the next frame, page down. So right here is where he gets messed up. So I'm gonna add another keyframe right here. I'm just gonna animate this guy out of here. So what I might do is just add a little bit of directional blur. I don't know why it's not blurred as much as it should be right there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of directional blur. So page up, keyframe, page down, blur it this way, page down, and remove it. So I might look really sudden, but as long as it looks good in the frame, then we're all good. So we could go ahead and, you know what, let's fix this black hole issue too. I should have done that inside of DaVinci Resolve, but I did not think of that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new solid, actually not in just my layer. Create a new solid, control Y, make sure it is pure white. And I'm just gonna go ahead and create an elliptical mask right over this. Cool, cool. Oops. Perfect. Just put that there. Turn the opacity down just so I know where it's going to be. I'll just do a quick animation. Keyframe that. Move that over here. Move that out. So it's here, 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 here. Just cover that up. And that's gone. We'll just make sure we start that here and end it there. And so that should get rid of our little black hole issue. And the next thing I like to do is when you get a flaring like that in the sun, as you can see, it looks kind of ugly. It looks like, you know, just the camera sensor clipped. It just, you know, it looks like a clipped sensor. And since we didn't film on film, obviously, it just looks like a digital overexposed blob in the sky, which is something I'm not a big fan of. So what I like to do is add some additional ambient lighting once we get that, which kind of just, I, th I feel like it just sells it. So I'm going to hit F4. And which blending mode did I use? Did I use overlay? No, I don't think it was overlay, but I like to just add some additional flaring, if that makes sense. Was it soft light? Bear with me, guys. I'm, I'm kind of going through this tutorial with you. I, I can't remember what I used. You know what? I'm pretty sure it was soft light. Let's just use soft light. So once we start moving towards the sun, what I'm going to go ahead and do is animate the lens flare or just the extra glow. Bring that up. Keep it there. And once we move away, animate it down. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope this taught you guys something a little bit about cloning or different cloning techniques, possibly. Please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Happy Fox Productions. We have short films and tutorials and a whole bunch of fun stuff that you would expect on a YouTube channel. And we also have a website that we're developing at the moment that will have downloadable project files 
and 4K footage and footage that you guys can download to follow along with. So please feel free to subscribe to be notified for when that's up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.